and the dream lives on. St. John Bosco, 1815 to 1888. Johnny Bosco was born on 16th of August, 1815 in Beijing. A hamlet in Italy. At the age of nine, little Johnny had a great dream Johnny Bosco, drawing energy from God and Mary, unstinted support from his mother, Mama Margaret, and became a priest on 5th of June, 1841. He began the Oratorio. He founded the Salatian Society in 1869. The system of education they follow is called the preventive system, based on reason, religion, and love. On the night of 9th April 1886, he saw a brilliant light starting from Peking in China and ending in Santiago in Chile, passing through Salatians first came to India in 1906. On Monday, 9th January 1922, 22nd March 1928, the Salatian Louis Mathias signed the contract and acquired the land at Liluba for a professional school. 8th December 1937 saw the solemn blessing and inauguration of Don Bosco Technical School. 8th December 1937, at 3.30 p.m., the Archbishop Ferdinand Perrier S.J. blessed the first parish church of St. John Bosco in India at Liluva. 23rd November 1937, at sunset, Vincent Scuderi brought the pioneers Reverend Father Attilio Colusi and Brothers Rivolta, Alfred Cogliandro and Noel Kenny to the Lilua premises. 17th April 1939. The technical section started with 13 lads. Under the direction of Brothers Capretti and Priolo. From 15th December 1942 to 18th December 1946, the school was requestioned by the government for the use of the army, Second World War. 16th August 1948, school was recognized as higher grade school by the government of West Bengal. 26th February 1950, the technical wing N.W. Wing was blessed and inaugurated by Archbishop Ferdinand Perrier S.J. 24 July 1958, the newly built auditorium was blessed by Archbishop Ferdinand Perrier. 2nd October 1955, first past pupils day was celebrated with Father Roland O'Hara, S.D.B himself a past pupil along with 25 other past pupils. 12th November 1959, the Archbishop Ferdinand Perrier S.J. blessed the new school building, the main building and the S.E. wing. Two floors were still to be built. 15th March 1967, two past pupils of DVL, Horace Bird and Leonard McManus were ordained priests at DBL by Most Reverend Albert de Souza, Archbishop of Calcutta. 28th July 1971, the past pupils unit of DBL 
volunteered to go to Calcutta and shine shoes in various streetners to raise funds for the refugees of East Pakistan and some present pupils also joined this campaign which continued for several days. 31st January 1977 Free Night School was started. 16th August 1978 Don Bosco's birthday Don Bosco self-employment was started for the school dropouts. 8th December 1984 Reverend Father K. A. Joseph Provincial blessed the new church of St. John Bosco at DBL premises. 8 December 1987 Professor Nurul Hassan, the Governor of West Bengal was present for the Golden Jubilee celebrations along with Father Attilio Colusi and Father Mariano Ugret. 9th August 1988, Don Bosco ACRI, Mirpara, was taken possession of by the Salatians of Don Bosco Lilua in the presence of the Chairman of Bali Municipality. 30th December 1994 to 4th January 1995 Boscori All India Don Bosco Scouts and Guides Meet was held in DBL. 8th December 1996 The new boarding block NE Wing was blessed by Auxiliary Bishop of Calcutta. 8th December 1997 The Diamond Jubilee celebrations were concluded by the Governor of West Bengal. 8th February 2010 Reverend Father Maria Arokia the Salatian Regional Superior inaugurated the newly added second floor above the technical wing to house the various laboratories and a spacious examination hall. 13th and 14th July 2011 The casket carrying the relics of Don Bosco was here to bless all associated with DBL. 8th December 2012 It is 75 years since the sons of Don Bosco began their dedicated self-giving for the all-round development and empowerment of the children of Earth. The Salatians are deeply grateful to God Almighty, to the Blessed Virgin Mary and to Saint John Bosco for all what they have been able to accomplish. They pledge their continued dedication.